What's going on everybody? It's the Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Before I do this video, I want to give a shout out to my little brother. A hell of a guy, my little baby brother. Uh, he came through for me in a time of need. You guys know that my laptop is actually on the fritz right now. It's in the, the computer shop and I don't know when it will be coming back. But he came through and let his big brother borrow an amazing computer, a MacBook Pro. Like the newest one. <laughs> it's really fucking awesome. And it puts mine to shame and I'm really happy he let me borrow it. I'm actually making this video uh, using Final Cut Pro and I'm really loving the application. I'm loving the user friendly uh, nature of this MacBook. And I feel like as a person who's predominantly been on Windows, you know, for the last few years that this has kind of turned the tide for me and made me see where I need to go. So I've been on the dark side. Welcome to the light side. I think Mac, Mac is where it's at. Put it that way. I want to talk to you guys a little bit today about the future of video games and where where we've come from and where we're headed because I'm an old fucking man 35 years old and I remember you know back in the day when Nintendo was considered state of the art you know you see these 2D sprites running across the stage and that was considered new technology and and undone unseen before and we come to this place now with PlayStation 4s Xbox 1s and PCs that far exceed anything in our wildest dreams years ago now what we got is so close to photorealism if you look at games like The Order 1886, you know, if you look at games like Ori and the Blind Forest, if you look at games like, what is Nintendo have? Anyway, the future is now. And I've seen things come and things go, and uh, a lot of it's been fads, man, to be quite honest. I remember when PlayStation 2 announced their PlayStation Eye camera, who remembers that? And uh, the kind of things you can do with it, you can interject yourself in, on the screen, I thought that that was so new and it felt like virtual reality. When I was a kid, they showed VR. And uh, when I was a kid in the VR they showed, it looked like wire models. That was virtual reality. That was the closest thing we got back then to a virtual world that was created by a computer. It looked like wire models and there was no textures and it just looked like shit. Gradually it became polygons and you know they would do things like Doom on virtual reality uh, consoles with, that were huge consoles. It wasn't like a headset. And uh, that was what VR was. Now we're approaching this VR, VR time in our near future. And I'm wondering if it's going to be a fad, if it's going to take off, or it's, if it's going to be the evolution that I think video games might need. Like I said, man, fads have existed since the beginning. Who remembers the Virtual Boy? A, a handheld console made by Nintendo that only displayed red sprites that burnt your fucking eyeballs out of your head. Who remembers... The Nintendo Wii when it came out. Everybody and their grandma bought it. It seems so revolutionary for the time. And it gives you that feeling of submersion because you're actually interfacing with the game with your own physical movement. But ultimately for me that became a fad. I just was not into it. PlayStation I, even with the PlayStation 4, you know, the only thing you can use it for is just basic waving your hand type of shit. Xbox One's connect, Xbox 360's connect, same garbage. And it's a fad. And I don't know if virtual reality is going to end up being a fad or if it's going to end up changing the world because it it could it has the potential to really change the world and change the whole scope of what gaming is and um, if they do it right if they do this thing right we could have a new future with everybody wearing fucking headsets in their living room and experiencing video games in ways that I think video games would benefit from now this Xbox One's new uh, virtual reality set is called the HoloLens I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it but basically what this thing is, it's a, it's a holographic headset that projects holograms around you in real time. And you're actually able to create things in this real time 3D space and print them out on 3D printers because, you know, everybody has a 3D printer, right? And uh, you can actually use the stuff that you make. And I thought that that was really, really awesome. Uh, PlayStation's got the uh, Project Morpheus, which is slated to release probably at the end of 2016, sometime in 2017. And this is going to be PlayStation's VR headset, and I think they're going to be working towards building lots of new IPs around it, because I don't think that it's going to be re really easy to interface that with games that already exist. And, uh, of course, we've got Oculus Rift. Oculus Rift is bought by Facebook, and, you know, that's going to be the shit as far as PC gaming goes. So VR appears to be what everybody is into now. Everybody's going in the same direction, so it's leading me to think that all these millions of dollars put into research, someone has figured out that people want VR. It's kind of like what happened with the Wii. When the Wii came out, PlayStation made PlayStation move. We saw that, that Nintendo money, they did it a lot worse than Nintendo, but a lot of people bought the PlayStation Move, I bought the same shit. What will the prices of these things be? 
That's a good question. Uh, I do the BC Thought Show. You guys know that. I talked to Briar Rabbit, Robbie Skull, Not Too Nerdy Entertainment, 9 to 5 Gamer. And we've discussed this before, uh, talking about the potential price of what these uh, these holographic or, or 3D virtual reality headsets are going to be. And some of the guys have uh, foresaw prices exceeding that of consoles. And I think that's probably right in the range of what we're going to end up paying. I think that stuff like the... Uh, the HoloLens and the PlayStation's Project Morpheus will probably average between three and four hundred dollars for the headset because it's going to be a whole new gaming experience if it's done right. And it appears that someone is actually rumored that this HoloLens is going to cost probably more than the console. All right, guys. So this article is on VRFocus.com and it says HoloLens to cost significantly more than a game console. Microsoft's HoloLens technology, a head-mounted display that can overlay holograms onto real-world objects has been impressing technology enthusiasts since its reveal in January of this year. With onboard processing capabilities, the consumer model of the device was never going to be cheap, but now it seems that the ballpark figure has been revealed. The HoloLens technology has been showcased with a variety of applications, from work to entertainment and lifestyle. Minecraft, which Microsoft bought last year for $2.5 billion, has already been offered a technical demonstration in which players wear the HoloLens headset and they can move blocks around at will and they can even destroy them. According to the New York Times, an unnamed representative of Microsoft has, has revealed that technology could cost significantly more than a game console. The current entry-level current generation offering started around $299, suggesting that the HoloLens would be upwards of that price. This is possibly less it was a uh, of a surprise when considering that the Oculus Rift development kits are currently priced at around $350 and that the HTC Vive is rumored to cost much more than that. So, we're looking at probably spending somewhere between $4 and $500 for these headsets. And that's the thing. That's the big question because it's kind of like a gamble. It's a big gamble. Uh, would would you have paid $500 for a Wii when it first came out? A lot of people would have. And it would have been a gimmick. And that's kind of where my head is in this situation. I don't want the HoloLens or the PlayStation's Project Morpheus or Oculus Rift to be a gimmick because this is actually this is the closest thing to I think every real gamer's dream come true. If you can put on a headset and you are immediately in a world, imagine that. Just really imagine it for a moment. You put it on, you look around, you see whatever you, you're playing. A game like Left 4 Dead or something—you got zombies everywhere. That shit would be amazing, you know. And I'm looking forward to you know these these exclusives with the PlayStation Project Morpheus having nice, awesome exclusives somehow intertwined with this VR headset. I would love to have it. And and honestly, I think that's really the real future of where games are going to go. I think that'll be the precipice. I think that'll be the highest that we can reach to actually be able to submerge ourselves in a real fictional world that feels real and be able to do things that of course we can't do in, in the real world but be able to interface with it in an entertaining way. I'm hoping that this thing works out. I'm looking forward to it. I definitely won't be buying you know all three headsets. That's a gamble I'm not going to make. I, I really want to try the Oculus but I'm not really a PC gamer and uh, that's really where I feel that's going to be best suited on the PC with video games and all kinds of crazy applications. That's, I think that's the direction that Facebook has taken it. It's going to be applications everywhere, Facebook ads. Uh, the Xbox HoloLens, I don't know how I feel about that because that, that doesn't feel as much like a video game centered headset to me. It feels like it's a holographic interface and allows you to print shit out. And while that is a fun and unique thing to do, I feel more, as a gamer, that having something that's all about games is what I want. I think the Project Morpheus is something that I can stand behind as a gamer's headset, because it's made for PlayStation. I don't know if it'll be able to you know, plug into other systems, PCs, and whatnot, but from what I understand, Project Morpheus is going to be for PlayStation, for video games, for us to put that headset on and be inside of a game world. I just hope that they get intelligent people behind this. You know, the, the PlayStation Vita is an amazing, a very powerful console, but they've got no one backing it. So it's dying a slow death because what it could have been, it never was. What it could have been, it never was. And uh, 
I don't want that to happen with Project Morbius. I don't want it to happen with Oculus Rift, and I don't want it to happen with the HoloLens. I want Sony and Microsoft and Facebook to get developers behind it who are willing to stand behind it and, and create engaging and exciting entertainment spectacles for us. I want to be able to put on a headset and fucking lose my mind and say I've never had an experience like this before. For the few people out there who've had a chance at these booths to try out these headsets, everyone I've heard, they've all said, man, I've never played any, I've never felt like that before. It was just just amazing. I can't believe this actually exists. We're, we're here now. The future is now. I've heard a lot of people say that. I've, they've been coining that phrase every time they play the Oculus Rift. And if that's how they feel, I'm super excited about it. And I think that it could, it could possibly be an amazing thing that we all need to play. You guys... I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I'd like to know. You guys let me know in the comments below. First of all, do you like this new video setup? Because uh, this this uh, <laughs> this new setup on this MacBook is fucking amazing and I'm loving it. But you guys let me know what you think about virtual reality and uh, the big three. We got Sony, you know, banking on Project Morpheus. We got Microsoft banking on the HoloLens. And we've got uh, PC Master Race bank banking on... Uh, the Oculus Rift and uh, I think they're all gonna have their place I don't know how successful they're gonna be but everybody in China is not wrong about rice you know they know that the future everybody's gonna want these fucking virtual reality sets and I think they're pretty smart about that you guys let me know if you're gonna be getting them if you're interested in it at all and if you are gonna get one which one is it gonna be let me know in the comments below and as always thank you guys so much for the support and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, they ain't coming back. Assholes didn't know what hit them.